Uh, I came to Washburn in uh, July of 2003, in the summer of 2003. Uh, I was coaching a uh, debate in uh, Fargo, North Dakota, so <laughs> the warmer climate was certainly a draw, but I was uh, an assistant at Concordia, and this was a director's uh, uh, position or whatever, so it just seemed like a really wonderful opportunity and hasn't been a letdown yet. I came in, I think, 2006, and actually at, at Kevin, and I was coaching, assistant coach at Western Kentucky University, and saw Kevin out. He and I used to debate against each other back in the day, and he said, hey, you should consider coming to Washburn. And after doing a little research on the university, I realized it was top notch, and it was closer to family. I'm originally from southern Missouri, so it was closer to family. and. Uh, decided that I would like to join them and they decided they'd like me to join them so um, I was glad and I haven't, haven't been upset about that decision ever since I've been here for five years I think this is year six so, yeah I, I think that you know kind of like Kevin said the, the long history here was one of the attractions but since we've been here uh, really we've been fortunate to have a lot of uh, smart kids and most of them are from Kansas, from this area, and then we've had transfers that want to be part of this program. And in the past you know, seven years of Darren Kevin and my tenure, I think we've had, what, a couple of thirds, a couple of seconds in the nation, and then last year we got first in the nation as a team, and then several individual successes too. I, mean, yeah, I would add the, uh, the university's support for the debate team is just top notch. That's from the president's office down. I mean, we have so many supporters, so many fans of Washburn debate, so we're really happy just to be part of kind of the Washburn family. Um, I think as of late, um, you know, Washburn debate is really about, you know, that small school from Kansas uh, and those just smart Kansas uh, students that um, decide that they can compete with anybody. Uh, what's really neat about debate is that there aren't any divisions. Uh, so we take on the biggest and the baddest, I guess, the biggest schools in the country. Uh, we compete regularly with the University of California, Berkeley, the University of California, Los Angeles, the University of Washington, the University of Oregon, so a lot of Pac-10 schools. Uh, in the Big 12, we see Colorado Boulder all the time, uh, Texas Tech. Uh, and so these students not only get immediate opportunities to meet students uh, from these other, uh, you know, top tier institutions across the United States uh, and just kind of see that you know they can compete with anybody and that there's there's really no no difference between them and the kid that's at California Berkeley. That's an excellent question and there is one major change. Um, we're going to look to expand basically what we're doing. We're doing American Parley or American Parliamentary Debate uh, and we're going to be adding um, some team policy debate to the equation. So I think that's going to be really attractive to high school students because they compete in team policy debate. Uh, team policy debate is kind of the longest standing, most storied kind of collegiate debating that there is in America. And so we really feel like Washburn debate has the resources, the will to cross over and, and, and compete in, in, in some select team policy debate tournaments. We're going to pick the best tournaments in the nation, so we'll be going to Harvard, we'll be going to California, Berkeley again, uh, we already go there for a parliamentary debate, we'll be going to Northwestern, going to Austin, Texas, uh, and seeing what kind of the other side of the pond, the other side of the fence uh, has to say. And that experience will only really add to what we're already doing, set us up even further for the National Parliamentary Tournament of Excellence, a very exclusive a tournament that invites the top 64 parliamentary teams in the nation to square off against each other. So there's never a round off at that tournament. So anything that we can do to make our run up to that tournament more rigorous, uh, you know, more competitive, then that's what we're looking to do in the next few years. And that's that for me, that's the big one. And I know uh, high school students listening in on this are going to be excited to hear that. Well, why wouldn't you want to come to Washburn? You have top-notch education. At, for a quality price and you are still going to go on if you want to go into law school or go on to grad school you can still do that um, you know we've I think Kevin said this earlier we've had students that go on to Georgetown Law to Texas Tech grad school to University of Oregon to Colorado Boulder and 
you know, you get direct attention from people who have PhDs. You're not, the kids aren't being taught by grad students. And uh, so it's the best of both worlds, in my opinion. Quality education, and you have the potential to go on, sky's the limit, and really. And I don't, I don't see, that's the reason why I've stayed here for five years, and I'm in year six, I don't see why you'd want to go anywhere else. If I didn't believe in the university, then I wouldn't be teaching here this long.